Hey, what do you think you're doing? What the? Where the hell is my money for the bus? What the? Hey, where's my gum? Did you swallow my coin? Do you have any idea what I went through to get that? God damn it, this is so unfair. Huh, I'm only asking for what's mine. I knew you'd be here. Do I know you? Oh, I know you. So, any crimes to confess? What? You heard me. Are you gonna try telling me a ring hasn't come into your possession in the last few hours? Are you a cop? Do I look like a cop to you? If you are not a cop, I suggest you leave me alone. You could get into some serious trouble. <clears throat> Um, there appears to have been a misunderstanding. I'm sorry. Have a good day, sir. What's up, kid? You're gross. Uh, you're just not worth it. Get lost. Nonsense. Nonsense. And the prize is a massive bubblegum roll.
Sorry, friend, but I need your little gun. You damn punk! I'll find you sooner or later! Eh, uh, you won't even remember me. That person's not on my list. That person's not on my list. Hmm. No. What's up, kid? You're gross. Well, everyone has their inner beauty. Not you, though. Why are you so dumb? I don't like you. You don't like me? Well, I like you, you little bastard. Hey, watch your mouth. I'm very impressionable. Me too, so don't stare at me for too long. Is that supposed to be funny? I don't know. Are you supposed to smell like that? You're ugly and gross. Good one. Uh, yes, um, hey, that's a pretty cool badge. Can I borrow it, buddy? You suck. Well, that's just your personal opinion, but let's not digress. Would you trade it for something else? No, I am the law. Is killing kids in video games still frowned upon? You're ugly. Your siphon is running empty. Siphon? Huh. How old are you? Sixty? Hmm, I guess that's it. Do you want a refill or would you like some candy better? Kids love candy, don't they? Hey, if you let me borrow your badge, I'll bring you some candy, okay? No. I want a better gun. Well, will you give me the badge if I give you a better gun? Hmm, I don't know. You're so ugly. I want a better gun. Although, if you bring me some candy, who knows? Here you go, kid. This is the ultimate weapon. What an ugly gun. I don't like the color, and it's not very aerodynamic. What? Say what again. Say what again. I dare. I double dog dare you, motherfucker. Look, kid, I had to go through a lot to get that gun, okay? Didn't your parents teach you any manners? God. Mom, this man says you're not bringing me up right. What? Hey, that's not true. I said something very similar, but not that. Honey, I told you not to talk to strangers. They're all imbeciles. Yes, Mommy. You heard her, you idiot. Get out of here. That gun sucks. You suck. And your hair sucks. You'll never get my badge. Hey, what the hell? You might be wearing a plastic badge, but I have more power. <laughs> wow, that gun is awesome. Give it to me. Oh, I love this feeling. Now you want the gun, huh? This gun? Aw, oh, but it is an aerodynamic and the colors are so ugly. Nah, I think I'll just throw it away. Don't be a dick. Who, me? I think you're wrong, kid. I'm stupid, I'm ugly, and I suck, right? But that doesn't mean your gun isn't cool. I want to see you beg for it. Maybe then I'll let you have it. No way I'm begging you. Just give it to me. We had a deal. All right, here, but be careful. Awesome. Here, take my water gun. Hey, hold it, your water gun. That wasn't the deal. You said you'd give me your badge. If I gave it to you, how would people know who's in charge here, then? Kid, you said you'd give me your badge if I got you a better gun. I never said that. I said I'd think about it. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Give me the damn badge. No. What you gonna do? Oh, you'll see, you little monster. You'll see.
Now I'm ready for war. What are you doing? What am I doing? I just wanted to splash you and you shoot a nail at me? Shoot first, ask questions later. That's how I roll. Well, that attitude's gonna get you in trouble one day. <laughs> Ow! Will you knock it off? I just wanted to make sure it worked. Well, it does. I could. I mean, it'd be kind of cool, but that kid has a loaded nail gun. I think I'd be on the losing end of that battle. Please, don't shoot. Come on. Can't we make some kind of arrangement here? Ow! Will you stop shooting nails at me? God! Why? I like doing it. I could do it all day, you snot face. Okay, so you can shoot. Of course I can. You want me to show you again? No, no, enough of that. Thought so. But you know, I'm standing right here in front of you, so don't get too cocky, you know what I'm saying? So, you want to step back a little? I bet I can still hit you. Uh, no, why don't you shoot something else? I mean, something that's not me, and not as close as I am. So, uh, I can tell if you're a good shot or not. Okay, what do you have in mind? Uh, why don't you shoot that subway sign? Piece of cake. Hmm, looks like it wasn't so easy after all. Shut up. Wow, look at that! Did you hit it? Of course I did. Hmm, that's weird. I don't see any dings on it. Whatever. I swear I hit it. Okay, yeah, I guess I'll just have to believe you. Oh, do you think you can hit that red X on the barrier? Check me out. Hmm. Close, but no cigar. I said shut up. This damn piece of junk! Don't worry, it's okay. I said shut up! There you go. Oh, sorry, I wasn't looking. Can you do it again? See? Yeah, well, uh, it's not like you hit it the first time, but hey, if you're happy with that, okay. You're an idiot. Well, I don't suppose hitting that subway map would present much of a challenge to a child of your talents, huh? Of course not. Oh, damn. It's just because I can't get a good shot in from here. Yeah, I'm sure it's just that. Mm -hmm. Watch this. Did you see that? I told you I could do it, you dork. Yeah, but I mean, with such a big target, even a monkey could have done that. Hey, don't forget I'm the one holding the gun. I know, I'm just saying maybe you need to practice your shooting there. I don't need to. Okay then. So, no more practicing? Why don't you try shooting that map again? You're so annoying. What if I just shoot you in the eye? Uh, but kid, I, I was just... Uh... What's wrong with this thing? Oh, what? You thought it had infinite ammo or what? I, I... I didn't really think about it. Yeah, good. Well, guess what? Now it's my turn. Hey, stop it! Stop it? Are you kidding me? I hate getting wet! Oh, you hate getting wet, huh? I said stop it. I'm going to tell my mom. Yeah, looks like she really cares. Mom, 
This man is stalking me. He took my water gun, and now he won't stop soaking me. Sure, Mary Ann. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mom! Hold on a second, dear. Will you stop screaming? I'm on the phone! But, Mom! This man is trying to get... Say Mom again. Say Mom again. I dare. I double dare ya, motherfucker! Oh hell. Oh, what's wrong? Mommy's not listening to you? Oh, poor little baby. Do you want some water? You'll be sorry, I swear. Give me the badge. Come on, we had a deal, you little punk. A deal? No way. I'll never give you my badge. Never! <laughs> so you want to do this the hard way, huh? That's enough! I'll tell you when it's enough, and it won't be till after I have that badge. Fine! Here's your stupid badge, you damn filthy pig! Good boy! Now why did that have to be so hard? Leave me alone! Get out of here! My pleasure. Well, well, well. Looks like I'm back. What part of get lost do you not get, boy? Put your hands up, keep your pants on, and don't try anything funny. Do you really think I'm gonna fall for that toy badge? Come on, it says the coolest cop in the whole wide world. Uh, well, that's what they call me down at the station. Kit, you seem to be one of those guys who enjoys being alive and stuff, so here's a free tip. Get out of here as soon as you can and never come back. And if you ever ask me about that ring again, those will be your last words. Well, yes, I really like being alive and stuff, and uh, the last thing I want is to cause you any inconvenience because of a simple misunderstanding, so uh, I'll see you le- I mean, uh, goodbye. You're not by any chance that super agent everybody's talking about, right? Yes, it may be. But even the best samurais hurt themselves with their own katanas sometimes. What do you mean? I mean, I couldn't save him. Who? Poor thing. But who? It's, it's a story of suffering, betrayal, cruelty, and grief. And honestly... It's very hard for me to talk about it. Yeah, but come on, you can't stop now. You said there was cruelty and grief. Those happen to be two of my favorite things. Come on, give me the gory details. There's not much to tell. It all happened a couple of years ago. It was a rainy day, and I was just out on my rounds. I would have never imagined what a cruel twist of fate lay in store. 
Go on, go on. Uh, the thing is, I got an urgent call from Molyneux Park. So I went straight there, and and that's when I saw it. What did you see? Come on, Murray, go. It was a duck. A poor little ducky. His head was stuck under the water, and he couldn't take it out. He couldn't take it out, goddammit. Oh, man. I jumped in the pond, and when I got him out of the water, he wasn't breathing, so I tried CPR. But it's not easy for a human to seal his lips around a duck's beak. And when I pressed his chest, his ribs just snapped like dry wooden sticks. <gasps> then I lost all hope. God knows I did everything to try and save him, but... <laughs> It wasn't my destiny to save him. It just wasn't. But since that day, a lot of my fellow policemen praise me and respect me. I was even given a medal. But that won't bring the little ducky back. Yeah, but, uh... My inspector said they would name a street or a museum after me in a few years. But I just want to make sure nothing like this ever happens again. Uh, Murray? I think your colleagues are just laughing at you. Why would you say that? Do you really think that little story you told me makes any sense? The greatest epic stories are always hard to believe, kid. Tell me about it. And you said they gave you a medal? Yeah. The ceremony will be held soon. Soon? Didn't you say that this all happened two years ago? How come you still don't have the medal? Do you think Live Aid just happened overnight? Major events take time and planning. The captain said they're still working out the television rights. I guess. You're a damn hero, Murray. I don't have any doubts about it anymore. Yeah, that's why I've been so busy lately. Sometimes I'm needed on the subway, sometimes they call me to guard these conventions. My superiors even want me to personally prepare their coffee sometimes. That's trust, you know. Oh, yeah, it's uh, crystal clear. This town needs you like Gotham needs Batman. Yeah, that's about it. Did the duck get a proper burial? I personally made sure of it. That had a ring of barbecue about it, Murray, huh? Oh, come on, kid. I buried him in this beautiful mausoleum I bought with my Christmas bonus. I even had a little duck head engraved on my badge in his memory. Can I take a look at your badge? Well, that's not something I'd usually do, but, uh... Ah, what the hell. Um, this duck head looks more like a rabbit head. What? No, you have to tilt your head a little. Imagine the duck is looking up. It's easier to see a rabbit, though. I mean, you don't have to tilt it or anything. I mean, these are the ears, and look, that's, that's the tail, the mouth. No. Why would anybody have a rabbit head engraved on their badge? Uh, well, maybe there's a cop out there somewhere who pulled a rabbit from a burning car. But anyway, look at this. This clearly isn't a duck. Ducks don't have teeth. These are, these are teeth. Enough. It's a duck. I asked for a duck, and I got a duck. So it's a duck. End of story. There you go, Murray. Very impressive. Thanks, kid. And now, if you don't mind, I gotta get back to work. Well, well, well. What do we have here? It's the guy who's gonna murder you unless you fuck off! Oh, is that so? Officer Hicks, give me that ring. What ring? The one you stole yesterday, you piece of trash. 
I didn't steal that ring. I mean, I didn't steal any ring. Officer, I... Uh... Stop babbling. Weren't you just gonna murder me a second ago? You're nothing but a filthy rat. Listen, I'm gonna tell you the truth. Uh, yesterday, I found the ring in Dr. Fred Edison Street, but it was on the floor. Yeah, it was on the floor right after you beat the owner unconscious. I know your modus operandi, you maggot. Hey, 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 don't you think you're crossing the line a little with all these insults? It's the power of the badge. Now I understand Sergeant Kramer. Who? Mind your freaking business, you punk bitch. Fine, fine, let's not get carried away. Oh, really? And what do you suggest? Well, why don't we just talk about it? Like civilized people. Are you insinuating I'm not civil enough to have a normal conversation? No, 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 of course not. I, I, I... You, 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 what, scum? I, 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 I don't want any trouble with the law. I got a wife and two kids to look after. I'm running out of patience here. Oh, c come on, I'm trying to cooperate, officer. What more do you want? What more do I want? What more? I want you to give me my ring back, you sneaky sewer rat. Please, I, I told you, I, I don't want any trouble. I got your ring, okay? I told you, I found it on the street. Nothing illegal. I swear it on my kids. Then give me that ring you found already. I don't have it with me right now, but I can show you where I hid it. That's the most intelligent thing you've said all day. Okay, wait here. I just gotta pull it out of my hidey hole. Oh, please tell me you just said hidey hole. Yes, officer. Houston, we have a problem. Surprise me. I... I can't seem to find it. It was right here, I swear it. Do you really expect me to buy that? I always stash my stuff here. I... I don't understand. Well, then I'll tell the Jakes to prepare a bunk for you. Do you prefer top or bottom? And I'm not talking about the beds. Wait, wait! Someone must have taken it! Yeah, you. And it looks like you're not too keen on handing it over. Well, hey, it's your call. God damn it, wait! I've been robbed. I would like to file a report with you. Excuse me? I said I've been robbed. <laughs> me! I can't believe it. Doesn't feel too good, does it? Well... I got robbed and clocked over the head for good measure. But who could have known I put the ring here? Well, the only person around here I've seen is... Oh, shit. What? Nothing. This is none of your business anymore. Get out of here. I should have known that bastard would betray me. <laughs> What's up, kid? Looking for something? Oh, you damn bastard. Hey, no need to offend. I'm gonna do way more than just offend you unless you give me what's mine. Yours! <laughs> yeah, mine, and stop laughing already. The ring has returned to its legitimate owner. You should be pleased. 
damn backstabbing bum, you know how badly I needed it. <laughs> Relax, boy. You won't be needing it anymore. Oh, you were after the ring all along? Well, what is this all about? <laughs> but you even helped me. You, you, you told me you were some kind of an oracle. What's wrong, kid? Don't tell me this is the first time you've ever been used. Oh, you're scum. But you knew that already, didn't you? Come on, kid, relax. All that rage running through you right now will fade away in time. Certainly not today or tomorrow, but you'll find love again. You think you're so funny, don't you? I try. <laughs> My patience has limits, I'm warning you. If knowledge is power and power corrupts, how will humankind ever survive? I warned you. Give me that ring. It's mine. You know it's mine. Ah, dude, not cool. What, now you go around shocking people? Did you think that ruining your life was the only thing this ring does? I know it has its own will. I learned that from you when we were friends. That's true, but you have no idea what it's capable of. This thing has dried up rivers, made buildings collapse, and even wiped out entire civilizations. What the hell are you talking about? <laughs> Look, kid, I don't know who created this ring or what powers it bestows, but it's been altering this world's reality for centuries, and almost nobody knows of its existence. Don't you think you're forgetting something, my friend? That I don't give a damn? It's also capable of manipulating people's minds to make them obsessed with it. That's how it forces them to do things they don't really want to do. It can even curse people, trapping them in some sort of space-time paradox. That sounds familiar. Nobody's ever been capable of taming the ring, but I'm really close. Soon there will be nothing I cannot do. Does that mean you'll finally take a shower? I have way more important things to worry about now. Oh, sorry, Master of the Universe, but neglecting your personal hygiene is never a good idea. Those things don't matter anymore. Okay, if that's what you like to tell yourself, fine. But seriously, you just stink. Ah! <laughs> Smoking! So are you going to study hard from now on? Excuse me? Yes, you know. To get that degree you always wanted. Maybe then you could write that novel you always dreamed about or build a flying car or something. Hey! What was that for? I was being honest. That was also honest. Honest, cordial, and spontaneous. Hmm. Then no more yelling weird stuff at people? Well, a bum has needs, no matter how powerful he is. But we'll see how things go. Uh, if you're not going to take over the planet or anything, I'd like you to stop yelling that I'm cursed every night. It'd be a great first step to being friends again. Never! But why do you do it? There's no point anymore. Besides, now you're this very powerful guy, right? I know, but nothing will make me give up my old habits. I'm not a damn yuppie, and I never will be. Yeah, well, at least yuppies don't go around yelling filthy nonsense at complete strangers. You don't get it, kid. No matter how far you get, no matter how successful you are, it's those little things, that mundane, everyday stuff that make this life worth living. Understand? Yeah, mind-blowing words from an emotionally disturbed homeless dude. Ah! <laughs> you know, there's something I don't understand. Enlighten me. Um, are you just floating? I'm levitating. I told you the ring is powerful. <laughs> well, it's not really that great. You know, it, 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 it's barely noticeable. I'm levitating, not floating. It's not the same. 
And FYI, it is pretty noticeable. Yeah, if you say so. I do say so! Me! The levitating bum! By the way, uh, have you been floating since I got here? Because I just noticed. Yeah! What? I'm just not an observant guy. Gee whiz. As I told you once, one just can't escape the universe's nature. Where someone sees coincidence, I see consequence. Where someone sees chance, I see cost. What the hell are you talking about? Bring me the eyes of the oracle and I will give you back your savior. I believe it is a fair and reasonable trade. Yes? No? Ah, oh, enough of your stinking drivel. Weren't you supposed to be the friggin' oracle? Oh, come on! <laughs> Taking into account the current state of the industry, is it a good idea for new generation consoles to abandon the physical format? Well... Yes? In my opinion... In your opinion what? Just don't answer if you don't want to. <laughs> but I did want to! If the ring has its own will, how are you so sure it's not gonna fuck you over as well? <laughs> I'm not. I'm just along for the ride. And honestly, my life couldn't get much worse than this anyway. That's true, but you know the ring. Maybe it's already got something more sinister in store for you. Like what? I don't know. Maybe you should have settled for what you just had instead of letting it corrupt you. Those beams don't look so healthy, you know. And what if someday you want to get rid of it and it's too late to? Why would it be too late? Because you might be dead. <sighs> I get your point. And you know what? What? Ow! <laughs> if you already owned the ring before, why did you get rid of it in the first place? It's complicated. You never know what will happen with this thing. Although... Didn't you lose it as well and then want it back? Who are you to judge me? Oh, I hadn't really thought about it like that. Sure you hadn't. It's so easy to judge other people, huh? But people in glass houses... Hey, I already said you're right. What else do you want? Ow! That! <laughs> What's that, kid? Are you here to show me your new toy? Yes, and I'm going to fry you pretty soon. I see. And what makes you think you'll be able to do that? Remember my toy? Mm-hmm. It shoots water. Ah-ha! Ah! No! I'll be back! Yeah, like hell you will. Come to Papa. Whew, finally I've got you, you evil ring. Now all I have to do is just... I'm not really sure what the next step is. Hmm, I hope if I just put it back in Matt's wallet and just play dumb, everything will go back to normal. Besides, if I have to throw it into a volcano on the other side of the world, I might as well just dump it right here. Oh, God, what happened? Matt. Matt's dead. He stabbed himself in the head with some scissors, and then he swirled them around, and... Okay, okay. I, I don't think I want to hear the rest. Why would anyone do something like that? <laughs> I feel so lonely. I don't know what I'm going to do without him. <laughs> oh, man, I I'm so sorry. I just... Are you busy or anything? Uh, well, um... I need a good friend right now, Randall. Please! <laughs> All right, fine, fine. Uh, w where are you now? I just got to Clayton's. Okay, uh, I'm pretty close, so I'll be there in a minute. Okay, I'll wait for you. <laughs> I... 
I can't open it from this side. Well, well, well. If it isn't the famous Mr. Hicks. Uh, you can suck up to me all you want. I'm not giving you a signed photo. Just as despicable as I thought. You know, the laws of recycling state that trash must be separated. But I see you and Miss Thompson prefer to be together. What the hell are you trying to say? I'm not trying, scum. I am saying it. Your best friend's corpse is still warm, and the first thing you do is call up his girlfriend and go out for drinks? You're trash. He's been dead for barely two hours, and you use your own cell phones to meet here and celebrate? <laughs> Next time, try to be a little more discreet, will ya? And mark my words, I'm gonna get you. One way or the other, I'm gonna put you behind bars. You understand? I can't stand you. I can't stand your face. I have to make you miserable. It's like a craving. You know, I think you have a little too much time on your hands. Have you ever thought about a hobby? You're my hobby, kid. You're my hobby. Well, uh, I can't imagine how you must be feeling right now. Oh, just a little dizzy. I only had, like, a couple of drinks, or, or three, or... Hey, are you drunk? Mind if I join you? Go on, then. A and he refused to growl at me for, like, three weeks, just because I called him Eddie Munster. Randall, please stop it! If I hear another word about that Mortimer guy, I'm gonna have to hunt him down and kill him. <laughs> yeah, good luck with that. He might look dumb, but he's one sneaky bastard, this guy. And that's why I need to get that, the, the, the bracelet back. Was it a bracelet, but, wait a minute, didn't I get it back already? I, hmm. <laughs> I have no idea what you're talking about.